nagpapagupit din ako today. Kasi isang taon na akong hindi nagpapagupit. Lesson 1. <laughs> sobrang ikli pa ng buho ko dyan. Pero ngayon, sobrang haba na. Alright, so ngayon tapos na akong magpagupit ng buho <laughs> So again guys, another positive yan because we need an agent to perform the action. Nagpagupit, past tense, nagpapagupit, magpapagupit, and magpagupit. Pero if you perform the action yourself, no, it's no longer positive. For example, for the guys, if you're the one cutting your own hair, you just bought a razor, you can just say, nagupit ako ng bohok, I cut my hair, nagugupit ako ng bohok ngayon, or magugupit ako ng bohok bukas. Kasi hindi positive, no? So, no need for those effects. Gusto niyo ba yung bago kong gupit? <laughs> Do you like my new haircut? So, here in the sentence, I'm using the word gupit as a noun, right? Gusto niyo ba yung bago kong gupit? Or we can also say, gusto niyo ba yung bago kong buhok? <laughs> buhok is hair. Nag-break sila dahil ayaw ng jowa niya ang bago niyang buhok. Additional, what if you had your hair colored? Ano yung color sa Tagalog? Kulay. So, if it's positive, nagpa-kulay. Nagpa-kulay ako ng buhok dati. <laughs> Before, I had my hair colored red. Nagpa-kulay ako ng pula. Pero ngayon, but now, ayaw ko na magpa-kulay. I don't wanna have my hair colored anymore. Perm or curl is kulot. Nagpa-kulot din ako dati. <laughs> I also had my hair permed. Or curled before. Pero ngayon, ayoko na magpakulay o magpakulot. <laughs> Gusto ko lang magpagupit. Okay, yun lang guys. Matutulog na ako. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep now. This is Vera, tutor of Manila. Follow me for more.